think the Sean Porter one is, is, is starting to get a little... Honestly, I, 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 I think with everybody on 47 is a little personal for her. Because it's like, man, y'all, y'all, y'all motherfuckers didn't want to give me a shot. Y'all motherfuckers look for every excuse in the motherfucking book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so... Mm-hmm. I, I, and, and he just and he just seems and he just seems like a compared like I said, Lamont Lamont Peterson was a, a mentor and a friend to me. Mm-hmm. That's all I know mm-hmm. more. <laughs> yeah. Like I I was like I I, I, cause I like Lamont Peterson or whatever. So I'm like, man, man, just stop the fight, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, there. You saw no, That's all. You saw no remorse. Yeah. You saw no remorse. So mm-hmm. you know. um, I, I think that, but I, I think I think if I think if Earl will have problems, it'll be as he moves up in weight because I think he'll he'll be forced to move up in weight. He'll be forced, like he'll he'll have to move up in weight because he can't make one forty seven no mm-hmm. more as yeah. opposed as opposed to just moving up naturally mm-hmm. and, and you know so I I, I think like it, it's interesting. I think he's a better fighter than Canelo personally, but if if he was to move up to one sixty right now and fight Canelo, I'm not I'm not sure that I'd be like ten thousand percent confident in that. He would have to do it normal, like like he would have to gain that weight normal, you know, like yeah. like he would have to fight at that weight, live at that weight, because I believe what Rory Jones says. He says something about starving yourself and cutting weight makes you a better fighter. You know, and, and I think that 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 regimen that brings you gets you a little bit hungry. You know, I yeah, I mean, you gotta literally, you gotta, like like figuratively speaking, yeah, not just literally, yeah. Yeah, and then it's just it's just a different it's a different level of discipline. I mean, it's just, um, um, great word. Did the discipline of making that way. Yeah, you're uh, right. Andre, uh, Andre two thousand said in the song, he said. I used to be a way better writer and a rapper when I used to want a black comic deal, but now I'm speeding off in the porch, feeling like I'm going off the course. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, same type of connotation. It's like, yo, when he was broke in an apartment, just hoping that he could get by on his rent. Yeah, he, he was be- he was better at the music because it was just so many, so much passion going on in his mind. But, yeah, that's you know, why that first album is so band. special on artists. You know what I mean? Their first album is always classic. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, so it's, so it, it's. It's just like you take that same mind frame and making weight. You're like, I, 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 I'm about, I'm, a, I'm a in between like two fifteen and two twenty five. Mm-hmm. That's that's where I fluctuate. Mm-hmm. So if I was a, if I was a fighter, and I only had to make it to two hundred ten pounds. I, you know, I, I'm not going. If 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 I want to slack on five miles, you know, it's like man, I can make two ten. But if you gotta, get, if I gotta get down to one ninety, mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. That's just a different. A different, a different level of focus. Yeah, know? great point. So, great point. Great point. It's, it's, it, 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 not, not to, not to, not to argue on this too long, but it's, it's crazy how a lot of these fighters fluctuate in between fights now. It's crazy. Like, Is it? You know why? You know, I've had this conversation with myself every time I cover a fight. You know why it's like that now? One of the biggest reasons, I think. Not, not that too, but more important, boxing is way more intimate now. Like, we are in these guys' lives every day. We follow them on Instagram. I'm interviewing them. Your other That's favorite, bad. you know what I mean? Like, like they don't leave, they don't leave us. So, like, a boxer will leave us for a month, six weeks, yeah. and then come back. Muhammad Ali would come back and be like, Hey, I'm I'm fighting. I would go to Africa for six months or Come back and say I'm fighting, but these niggas don't leave us. Like yeah, Earl Spence that, losing. That, that, that's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. Mm-hmm. So like, um, it's way more intimate, and these guys can't get away with nothing. Like, like in a perfect world, I would love to go from interview to interview to interview every day, you know. And but since I don't, I watch all their stories, I watch all their posts, I read all their quotes. I watch, I go to their best friends page and see if they're in their stories. You know what I mean? So it uh it, it it's just a it's 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 just a a spiral that we can't get out of. You no, know, it's boxing fans and you know so 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 I think that's one of the other reasons because I I, I was thinking like these niggas can't stay at that weight. You got to eat. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't expect them to be out fighting with. And it, 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 to me too, it ain't even this. 
necessarily the white per se, but I, motherfuckers be looking chubby as mm-hmm. fuck. Yeah, dude. you're right. You're right, niggas. No, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Like Floyd has always looked great. Zab has always looked physically great. Shane Mosley has looked like he's always been under 160. You know what I mean? So, you know, like there are exceptions to the rule. I agree. But, um, yeah, I think it's just the fact that we see him every day. Like, like I, I, I'm literally going to go, since we're doing on Sean Porter and Earl Spence, I'm literally going to go to Earl Spence stories at the end of this fucking video with Sean Porter's stories, you know what I mean? And you know now, I mean? since you asked the question, do you think do you think it plays a role? The uh, uh what uh, 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 Spence, how Earl Spence looks versus how Oh the yeah. Looks. Versus uh Sean Porter? Yeah. Fuck yeah. 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 I you think, think Sean Porter got a chance. I do think Sean Porter has a chance. And 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 and, and and I tell you this, um, let me make sure it's recording. I, I think Sean Porter has a chance, um, because he's he's a competitor and he's a great athlete. And I think Sean Porter has to fight. In my humble opinion, he has to fight the fight in segments, maybe two round segments. He, I don't think he can have the same game plan for an Earl Spence for twelve rounds. I think that uh. And I asked Sean, I mean, I asked Earl Spence September when he was there for Danny Garcia fight. He says, I asked him who he think his toughest fight was. That was, he was about to walk into the elevator. I remember that because I remember asking about Terrence Crawford and living paycheck to paycheck. And he says, out of everybody, he says Sean Porter will be his toughest fight. And Sean Porter is everyone's toughest fight. Sean Porter is yeah, basically... I, I- He's basically the San Antonio Spurs or or now the Toronto Raptors of like boxing. You know what I mean? So I think that uh, his athleticism is going to play a major key in that. With given the fact if Sean Porter has brings his power with him, Sean Porter's power hasn't been there the last three fights. You know what I mean? Two or three fights. You know, and and I think that if Sean Porter has his power and he can compete. Being like a a, a a comic book hero with using angles and confusing him and and making it like a dance contest per se with Earl Spence because Earl Spence in a perfect world wants to plant his feet and exert everything in his punches. You know what I mean? So 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 I think that uh, so I think it will be a tough fight. I have Earl Spence the favorite uh, if I'm betting that fight. I would honestly, I would hedge my bet with us. So I would, so I would look at it. What's the knockout versus the win? I would find a way to 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 try and win that fight because I think uh, I think Sean Porter can beat him, and I also believe Earl Spence is the favorite. You know, sixty five, thirty five, sixty eight, thirty two, somewhere in there, somewhere in there. He's like I I think seventy thirty is a little bit much because Sean Porter is a two time world champion and. He's in his prime, so, um, but somewhere in between. Uh, he's a two-time world champion. I mean, he beat Devin. I mean, Devin was a I monster, mean, man. Devin I was mean, a monster. I mean, look, when this all said it down on the low, Devin Alexander's a bro. And I was like, I was, because I like but, Devin but, Alexander. But they beat him to that spot. And and, 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 and and it's a great that you brought up Devin Alexander, outside forces. You know, he was on. He was an. He was an opiates guy, right? If I'm not mistaken, he was. Mm-hmm. A, 